like a display I mind my nightmares change my life The voices in my head I hear the static every time I don't know where it comes I hear those voices of those people who used to call me friends Like the venom still stings like the fresh of the bite Feel the venom coursing through my veins and blood I hear the voices in the static Getting louder They're getting louder They're getting louder
guitar um scorpion here get over here <laughs> um so welcome back and today is a new song that i had written about four weeks ago and i just never really um got around to uh recording it uh due to the fact that i was just i was so busy i was uh doing some new stuff at work um new experiences uh with the company so my priorities of coming home and playing the guitar and practicing uh, turned into uh, reading and falling asleep. So I never really got to do it. Um, but luckily, you know, I had some free time today and decided to play it and give you guys a little taste um, into what I have created. Um, it's called the news sounds on my static radio. Um, I could change the title, um, which I did um, on the notes when I wrote this. <laughs> so here, here are the titles that I scratched out. Um, here's my funny, funny titles that I scratched out. Um, static. What the hell is this song? Corey's attempt of making something great. You are like the words that you write. 
pathetic failure loser. Never gonna make it. Um, oh, here's a good one. Um, there is a song stuck in your head, and you can't turn it off. Uh, like I said, I had a list of different titles for this song. Um, and I like coming up with creative uh, titles uh, for, for uh, poems and lyrics and short stories I, I write. Um, sometimes even the title doesn't even meant, even because um, the reason why I do it is because sometimes the title doesn't really tell you what the song's about unless you listen to the song. Um, and what I mean by that is if you, if you look at, um, a few of my favorite bands, um, there's, um, for example, uh, Hawthorne Heights. One of their songs is, uh, Hoverboards Don't Float on Water. Now, you would think that that song has to do with Back to the Future. Um, because of the title. It doesn't have to do anything with Back to the Future. Though it's a clever title, because people are, you know, in pop culture, know that reference. Like, oh yeah, Hoverboards Don't Float Over Water. Um, another one is, um... That's a good one. Tango by the Addicts. So people are like, okay, it's like, it's going to be like, you know, the, that, that weird, you know, Latin vibe, tango, you know, sound. No, it's basically just someone met a girl and they danced. Which, it does make sense with the song being tango as a type of dance, but you would think the sound of the song would have that same um, melody of what, you know, people uh, interpret tango as to be. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a catch point too, you know. Sometimes the song, it, it sometimes sounds like something, but it's totally different. Um, another, another one that I, 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 I kind of enjoy is, um, Head First for Halos. <clears throat> Head First for Halos, which, by my chemical romance. So you think that it would have to talk about, you know, uh, Head First, like, you know, dive bombing, uh, dive bombing, and, um, dying, you know, uh, and getting your halo. Totally not. Um, it's the, the lyrics... If you read the lyrics and listen to the song, it has nothing to do with that. It basically has to do with um, being a drug addict and either you take the red pills or the blue pills and you mix them up and you get fucked up and you end up having bad thoughts and, you know, you kill yourself with a revolver. But then, if you really, if you read, if you keep reading on to it and listening, it says, just think happy thoughts. You know, as the fragments of my skull begin to, you know, fall like pixie dust on your tongue, just think happy thoughts, that is a reference to Peter Pan. Um, when Peter Pan told, you know, the three kids, you know, just think happy thoughts, you know, you can fly. So, um... The, uh, the song has to do with a little bit of, you know, uh, selfish, you know, acts and drug abuse, uh, abuse, and Peter, Peter Pan. So, um, anyway, just fun little interesting facts that I guess I wanted to tell you guys. Um, but other than that, this kind of video is getting a little, a little too long. So, um, it's the title of this song is called, uh, the sounds of my static radio. That's originally what the title is. Um, hope you guys got this far. Um, and if so, thank you. Uh, if you guys just listen to me singing uh, or check it out, thank you. Um, as always, I thank everyone for viewing uh, my stuff, old and new, um, subscribing, old or new. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, thank you. Um, I like, I like doing this, um, I like giving out, putting out new content for all you, uh, wonderful people out there, um, to 
laugh at or, you know, to enjoy. Um, because, you know, it makes me happy. So, in life, you gotta be happy. And you gotta do things that make you happy. So, this is one thing that makes me happy. So, um, thank you for, uh, joining me in another video of guitar playing. Um, so, or guitar video practice. I don't know, really. Um, just me with the guitar. <laughs> uh, making sounds with the guitar. So, anyway, welcome, uh, thank you for, uh, tuning in. Um, as always, I will see you guys and gals in the next one. <clears throat> it's Corey, sign out.